love you, honey. Thank God. I love you, too. Um, I thought about you all this time. I never forgot you. That's a familiar voice on the phone. Kidnapped victim Amanda Berry talks with her grandmother for the first time in 10 years. You know, we've been learning more and more about the brothers accused of kidnapping and holding those three girls, now women, captive for a decade. Nine on your side reporter Mario Ramirez was the first local reporter there after the girls were found alive. He's live with new information. Mario. Catherine Amanda Berry, Gina De Jesus, and Michelle Knight. Not only were those three women uh, subject to confinement in the basement here at the home on Seymour Avenue, as well as rape, but our Nine on Your Side investigative team has uncovered some interesting information a domestic violence history with the main suspect in this case, Ariel Castro. Now, his ex-girlfriend, we're learning, filed a domestic violence civil protection order in 2005. They had two children together, now in their 20s. Now, she claims that Castro beat her, broke her nose, ribs, teeth, and threatened to kill her and their two daughters, is what we found out from those documents. He has lived in the house the three girls were rescued in since 1992. Those three brothers are in custody. Their charges are expected to be filed later today. Also later today at 2 p.m., uh, at least 100 ministers will be lined outside of the home here on Seymour Avenue praying for the recoveries of these three women as well as praying for any other victims who may be held out there missing and held in captivity. For now, reporting live in Cleveland, Mario Ramirez, not on your side. Hey, thanks, Mario.